What is going on, guys? So today we have our first coding episode. Uh, so on Dark Asylum, I believe it was Dark Asylum, I did a series called the Coding Series, and essentially we would just find something to code, and I would show the process. Now, in terms of if this is interesting to watch or not, I have no clue. That's completely up to you guys. If you guys want to see more of these, give the video a like, let me know. Uh, and then if you don't care about this, then, you yeah, know, uh, by all means, you don't have to watch it anymore. But uh, enough people wanted to see it, so I figured why not. And we're doing Rev Caves. Rev Caves should be interesting, so uh, let's, uh, let's get started. Um, so the first thing we'll talk about is what they're going to drop. Uh, because when you're watching this video, the, vi the update is not going to be out yet, hopefully. And uh, you'll have time to give your input. So, with the actual revenants on Old School, if we go to the wiki page, this is what they drop. So, they have just some, some you know, cash value drops, whatnot, you know, onyx bolt tips, some runes, some some seeds, some food and whatnot, so you can see kind of what we're going for. And then in terms of the uh, uniques, if you will, we have just a few. Uh, so the bracelet, I believe, on Old School is um, it's similar to the fourth and fourth and a carry. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. The bra basically, you just don't take damage from them. They don't attack you. I think when you take damage, they just, they're not aggressive to you or something along those lines. Um, you have the Ancient Crystal, which I believe is used to make an obelisk in your house. I think you need four of them. And then you have the uh, Ancient Emblem, Totem, and Statuette, which, to my knowledge, sell for money. About If you look at the price here, this one would be 500k, this one would be a mil, this one would be two mil. Um, so there's also some of these, um, if you see right here, there's a chance that the drop will be multiplied by 100. So if you've seen Rev Caves, you've seen any videos... Um, I'm sure when they came out, everybody did a video on them, so you probably know about that. You have chances of getting things like a hundred dragon plate legs and whatnot. And really, that's kind of it. There's nothing, you know. I, I personally, I'm 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 really mad that they did rev caves without adding the armor. It seems completely pointless. Like it, it, I don't know. Like I don't. It just, in my opinion, I think I thought it was a really bad idea to do that, and they did it anyways. So. The question was, should we add the armor or not? And ultimately, we decided against it for a few reasons. One, they didn't do it. Um, and two, it sort of devalues things we have going on in the future. And uh, obviously, if they're not, if they, you know, if they didn't do it, then why not? You know, why copy something that, you know? It's just, I feel like since they didn't do it, we can be a little more creative. And I want to do that with God Wars 2, because God Wars 2 is where I really want the next level of armor to come out. Um, so. We decided we'll do that. Uh, so in terms of what you'll get, so at the same time as this update, or it might have been a little bit sooner, a little bit later, they added the imbued magic capes. So here's an example of one, what one looks like. So the process of getting these capes, you essentially just kill these demons with the spell, and they drop a crystal, and then I believe you get all three crystals, you take them to the dude, and he lets you pick a cape. So the best in slot magic cape for pretty much... Um, in terms of our game, this will be, you know, the best for a while. Probably Comp Cape will probably be either comparable or, or better. Um, but in terms of old school, there's probably not going to be a better Magic Cape for a very long time. And uh, this update, I mean, it just, it was really easy, apparently. Like, I, I mean, there was a couple parts where it could be hard, and obviously when it first it was released, everyone PK'd each other. But you just kill three demons, and you have the best Magic Cape in-game. So, um... I didn't really think that that needed to be done on our server. Our server could do different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two updates. Uh, so what you'll have is the Revenants will drop... Uh, they'll drop some of this stuff right here. This is, you know... I'm, uh, most of the times when I do drops, I just base it off of the actual drops. And then I make improvements or, or changes when, you know, we... You know, if we need it. Like, you know, if there's, like, a lack of... Uh, let's just say, for example, smithing supplies what were recently added to the Grotesque Guardian. It drops a lot of ore and whatnot, so... There might not be a huge need for coal and adamant bars and whatnot and rune out of wars. We might not do that, but, um, you know, we'll talk about the little jobs a little bit more when we're actually coding them and whatnot. And I'll just, I'll probably just do my own thing and then show you what I uh, have. Um, so the revenants, the main drops they're going to have will be the three crystals. And they kind of just look like an imbued heart. Let me see if I can find a picture of what it looks like. So this is what the uh, the darkness one looks like. And the other one is just red and green, obviously, or blue and green. Blue for Sarah and green for Guthix. Uh, so they'll drop those three crystals, and uh, whenever you get one, let's say for example you got this one right here, the red one, you can use it on a normal Zamark cape, 
to get an imbued Xamarin Cape. So that's pretty straightforward. You'll have the best in slot magic cape. Now let's say, for example, you get this right away and you get another one. What the hell would you do with it? You don't need two imbued magic capes. It's not going to be tradable, so you don't have to worry about losing it anywhere you would go. Um, these will, for one, they'll have a good cash value. Uh, if you look at that, the ancient statuettes, we're going to keep this. We're going to keep the emblems, the totem, the statuette. We'll keep those for cash as well. But if uh, you get one of these, you can also sell it. And on top of that, they will be rare components. So revenants actually have a lot of um, rekill value. I don't, I don't know. There's probably a better word to use there, but there's um, you know, you're not just going to get your your three K if you want three capes. I don't know. You know, I personally, I'd probably just get one. But if you wanted the three capes, you know, you'd, you'd get all three of them, and then you'd be done with this forever. You can actually, you know, stay here because of the cash value. And of course, rare components. If you're familiar with Invention, you'll know that rare components are one of the harder components to get because one of the main ways to get them is rare items such as Santa hat, uh, party hats, and stuff like that. And the only way to get those is from extreme luck from mystery boxes or ch treasure chests or obviously the rare box from the donator store. So this should help out a lot of people in a lot of different ways. If you want the money, go for the money. If you want the cape, go for the cape, etc. So the last item that will be unique is the Ethereum bracelet or... Is it actually called the Ethereum bracelet, the bracelet of Ethereum? Yeah, so, like I, I like I mentioned earlier, in, on the actual RuneScape, this, all it does is makes it so they don't, um, they don't aggro on you, I believe, is, is, the, is what they do. So, on our game, we're actually going to make it the best in-slot range gloves. I think it looks kind of cool. It has that sort of ghosty feel to it, and I feel like range gloves are something that we could probably use. I feel like Barrow's gloves being the best in-slot gloves for... Um, you know, for uh, really realistically 10 years because Barrel's Gloves came out in, what, 2007, right? 2007, 2008. So for them to have been out for such a long time and there's still best in slot, I feel like it's a little bit of a time for change. So we have the best in slot range bracelet. And um, again, if you have any other thoughts, you have a better idea, you just don't like these ideas at all anyways, let me know. So the main thing you're going to be wanting is... The bracelet, which is best in slot range gloves. You're going to want the crystals, which is best in slot magic cape. Um, also cash. And then rare components. Um, they will have looting bag on their table and rune pouch on their table. So that will be, you know, worth it a lot as well. And then obviously you'll have a bunch of these little drops for money. So now maybe we got the, those big drops out of the way. And uh, once again, you know, if you, if you have any other suggestions, let me know. We can talk about... We can actually get started, I suppose. So... I guess the first thing we're going to want to do is make it, like, ma allow you to get here. Make it accessible. So, let's, uh, let's keep track of these cords real quick. Let me just add myself as a friend. I assume that that only looks weird on my, uh, my version. This is a friends list remover, which doesn't help too many people, but it definitely helps staff, man. Oh, that's going to be nice. All right, so we got those. Let's, uh, just bow out of here real quick. Um, so I'm looking at the, the, the Revka update, and um, the actual cave itself, let me see if I can click this and make it a little bit bigger, um, has greater demons, ice giant, it has a bunch of random ass monsters. Um, and the reason for this is probably because of Wilderness Slayer. They're probably adding more Wilderness Slayer spots. Um, we're not going to have Wilderness Slayer yet. I'm sure that's something we're going to look into eventually, but for now we don't have that, so... I, I figure we'll do that update later. Uh, so I asked people in-game if they wanted me to do it, and they said no. Uh, so in terms of, uh, if you look right here, two wilderness, still 40, and then you can't see it. I don't really want to move my dimensions. I don't want to move my dimensions. Can't, how can I, is there any way I can do it? Uh, you, can, you can kind of see it right here. I apologize, it's a little smaller, but uh, yeah, you have an entrance here. So there's two entrances, um, and it kind of shows where they're at here. So what I want to do, actually, I'm not going to do it like in this video because it doesn't really matter. But I am going to make an amulet, the burning amulet. And um, what I'll do is I'll just throw it in the Bounty Hunter shop for a couple points, and it'll teleport you to um, some good wilderness spots. Um, that should also, you know, hopefully entice PK as well. Um, if you're unaware of any of the other recent updates we're doing, we're all also nerfing spec weapons. So that's probably one of the biggest issues with PK, because I believe the Invisible Hit glitch is fixed. Don't quote me on that, because I didn't do it. So <laughs> it was Dark Cody, and so I, I, you know, I don't want to comment on anything he's done. But... Um, yeah, so it'll put you in a couple spots, but let's uh, let's figure out the thing I really want to figure out is where to even put these because the obvious spot is where they're at in in the game, and that's kind of where we were a second ago. Obviously, I'm not there anymore. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll we'll just put them in that exact same spot, 
And if you want to go to the 17th spot, you got to walk all the way up here um, with either the agility shortcut or... Um, yeah, we'll probably do the agility shortcut just so agility has another purpose. Agility is one of those skills where I feel like it could have done, been done a lot better. But that that's that was like, you know, what, 2003, 2004? I don't have no clue when agility came out. For all I know, it could have been like the, for one of the first skills. Uh, my point is, I just feel like it could have been used better, but they've sort of just... I don't know. They just make problems so that Julie can solve the, solve the problem. Like, they're making the problem just so they can solve it. Um, but we'll, we'll stick with that pace just so agility is nice and uh, fancy. And then the same update, I'm going to fix the Lava Dragon update, as, or the Lava Dragon uh, shortcut as well. Uh, so let's get started. We feel like we've talked way too much without actually coding anything. These videos are definitely going to be longer. That's just kind of what you should expect. So if you didn't know, there is an NPC at home that actually teleports you around the wilderness this uh, ghost sailor. I believe I talked about it in a video called top, you know, 10 Things You Might Not Know About Revival. Uh, people probably still don't know that because he's just off screen, but uh, you can get around here. Let's actually go to Callista. I feel like Callista might be the closest spot. Where were we at? I, I'm trying to remember that website. I mean, uh, I, I recently got a new computer and because of that, I, I, I don't have like my same like files and whatnot, so I don't remember that website I used to go to that had a map. That'd be really helpful. But if I'm not mistaken, the update is, or the entrance rather, somewhere around here. Hopefully I'm on the right cache. I honestly never checked. Oh, there's Vedion right here. Oh, okay, never mind. I am way too, uh, you know what, I know where I'm at. Let me, uh, let me just get there. Alright, cool, so we found it. So yeah, I was just a little bit to the east. Uh, so first things first, we're going to get a file open. And uh, we'll just search walk to actions. That's the file that basically controls actions, such as objects or NPCs or anything along those lines. Let's just search um, cave. Something should come up, hopefully. After like the fifth try. Uh, we'll probably just use some simple code right here. Yeah. Drop that in. Uh, so let me make sure. I, gotta, I always got to make sure my dimensions are good. I don't want to, uh, you know, that probably, that probably might have been annoying. All right, so let's get the ID. Hopefully, it's not the same ID. If it's the same ID, I'll have to use different code. I honestly didn't check. 315563. 315563. 315563. Yeah, indeed. Um, so let's just put something in here to uh, track. So if I search the word track, it will come there. I'm sure there's better ways to do this. I'm sure you could use. Notepad plus plus and set up a little thingy right here. I don't care, you know. I, people always are gonna critique you, but just code the way you want to code, and uh, I'd rather do that. So let me go down to the other location real quick and check it and see if it's the same ID before I actually finish coding anything. Awesome! It is not. It is three one five five five. So we can just copy the same code, drop it in here. Um. Yeah, this is probably the best code because, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so let's get the uh, IDs for where we're going to put the teleports. Charlie, 3, 2, 50, 10, 1, 4, 5. So run right up here. And if you see on the table, I, I honestly didn't know this existed. There's a Revenant cave teleport. I, I'll add that too, just because why not? That'll teleport you straight here. Um, as for where I'll add it, I'll probably just throw it in a donator store that's not too impressive. Well, really, all of the donator stores are not that impressive. Um, I'll make it a drop from them as well, just so if you don't, you know, I, I don't like doing things that are locked behind donator. There's literally only one thing per zone that's locked behind donator, and that's the special mob. And the special mob is never really that fancy anyways. I just don't like pay to win servers. So let's get the outro as well. I probably should have written down the coordinates for where those were, but I'm dumb, so I didn't do that. All right, so this was the top one. Put that there. Oh, you don't even see this. I basically just copied it, put an 8, because that is the ID. Let me just put a little exit and uh, enter, so we keep track of that. Uh, so we'll put the coordinates for the, uh, I guess, the enter, because if you'd enter it, it'd bring you to where we're at. And then if you exit, it'd be to where we were just a few seconds ago. Two, three, four. I 
ways. And again, there's I'm sure there's better ways to do it. But this isn't about the best way to code it. This is about the way I'm going to do it. So, yeah. All right, let me run south and then get the ID for the bottom one. And then I'll go back on the outside and do what I should have done the first time. But I am stupid. Okay, so just do the same thing right now. All right, on the south side, just get these cords. We'll do the same for the other side, and then we will, uh, and then we will move on. All right, so what we did is we restarted the server, and we should be able to see that those are working correctly. If the server is on, it is good. I accidentally log, log into the wrong server all the time. Boom, boom. Oh, it, it, I'll, I'll, I'll remove the thing that says track. Yeah, nice. So that part is done. Um, in terms of the teleport, I'm debating on if I want to make it warn you. I feel like people could probably get alerted that way. People are dumb. And even though Revenant Caves have been a thing for a very long time, people might not know. So I might have to, especially with my, it's not so much that they're dumb, it's just that my server has a lot of weird stuff. So I'll uh, have to look into that. But uh, we're going to put the things here. In terms of all of them, I think there's like a ton. Um, yeah, 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 there's a ton of them, so I don't want to add all of them. I'll probably just stick with the imp. Um, we'll do the cyclops, the, the orc, and then we'll probably do these two. We'll just go with like five or so, um, because realistically they're all going to drop the, the similar things. Um, and I, I don't know, does it, do they all have the same drop rate? Is it based on the combat level, I wonder? Let me read. Yeah, so they all have the same drops, but then the other ones have the higher chances. I don't really think we can do that. I don't know that our code coding for drops and whatnot really supports that, but what we'll do is we'll just make it so that the lower one has lower amounts and the higher one has higher amounts. But in terms of the chances on the, bar on the big items, you could kill them the same. And what I expect people to do is probably just camp the goblin and the other lower one, which is fine. Go for it. Um, because I'm sure that even though it is a smaller server with around 50, 60 people, um, I still imagine people will probably PK, especially early on. Um, after a day or two, maybe not. Uh, one of the most annoying things in the world is when you get PK'd on my server and then you start raging in the clan chat. It's just because no one ever PKs doesn't mean you're not going to get PK'd. It's the wilderness. It's put everything in there is is designed to be a little bit better just because of the added risk of someone coming to kill you. So if you die in the wilderness the first day of this release, do not complain in the clan chat. That is an easy way to get kicked out of the clan chat. Or, you know, in game or PMs or anything like that. Just take your loss like a man. And and, and it's even more annoying when an Iron Man does it. Why why does you being an Iron Man mean that no one can kill you? I don't understand that concept. I played it as as an Iron Man on old school for a very long time. If anybody who's, you know, seen those old videos knows that I have I have what I would consider a pretty good Iron Man. And um, no, people can kill you. Like I don't I don't know why you're that why you should be so upset. Just don't bring anything you don't want to lose. That is my, you know, my motto. So what we'll do is we'll get all the IDs set up. I believe we um have them here, yeah, yeah, cool. Do they now they do they work or do I gotta do something? I think I have to do something. I think I have to add them as actual NPCs. I don't think they're added yet, so this shouldn't happen. Yeah, invalid format, good, okay. Uh, so we'll go with the five we wanted and we'll put those in the game. Um, actually, I guess I, uh, I was about to record, I was about to like just do that and not record it. I guess I should show you. I'll show you one and then you'll learn the process and then we'll do it. Uh, so let me go through our files. Hopefully, I'm never showing anything like important that you can like abuse to DDoS a server or anything like that. I might actually have to watch this freaking 40 minute video and make sure I'm not showing my IP. Is there any IP right here? No. No. Because <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'm showing something at some point that just you should not be seeing. Uh, NPCs NPC definitions open this. So with these big files I always use Notepad++ because big files are you know if you used a notepad form, they would not work out well. So we'll just copy this. Copy. Paste. Let me, can I screw this up a little bit? I... I'm just gonna... Uh, uh, 
Nothing wants to cooperate today. Let me, what if I make this? No, that probably made it worse. Yeesh. All right. Nope, that doesn't. Ah, okay, that, that did to help it a little bit. All right, cool. Okay, so you can see the full thing right here. Uh, so what we would do is we just go back to NPCs. 7931. Now, I'm not sure as for the animations. I have a post somebody made on Rune Server about the animations. Um, so I'll check that out. I'm hoping that if that doesn't work, all of their animations will be just similar to the normal Goblin NPC. So that's what I'll attempt. So something super similar like this. So basically what this is doing right here is this is adding it into the game. So now it'll... Uh, because the cache wise it's already there like if you theoretically if you could spawn it you would you'd visually be able to see it um, hopefully I'm on the right cache version I'm actually gonna just save this right now because I really want to test to make sure I'm on the right version because otherwise this video is gonna be pointless if you can't see any of the mobs okay it's a moment of truth is this all a waste of time or can we see the monster we can see it cool nice awesome is that the normal size of a goblin or does that look a little bit bigger Either way, let's hope the animations are fine. Because I hate when I hate one of my one of my pet peeves with coding is not having the animations for monsters because I'm not very good at finding them, and there's normally not good lists or any list available it was like from 2009, you know. So it was going off of way different things. I had a file called Possible Animations. That I'm sure we can I can find that somewhere in our, our source again. I'll probably reuse that. But uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm, I'm not I'm gonna ignore the walk and stand animations for now. I'm just gonna keep copying and pasting this and same with the attackable and whatnot. Actually, I'll make them attackable just so I don't have to do it later. Um, so what I'll do is I'll copy these, this, add all the other ones, and then we will um, we'll sort of do an overview of which ones we're going to add. We'll get their combat animations or combat stats and whatnot, and then uh, we'll work on drops. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I ended up going with the uh, goblin, as you saw, Cyclops, the orc, the dark beast, and the dragon. Uh, I decided to do the dark beast instead of the knight, because I actually think um, you might be able to use a dark beast slayer task on these. And if that's the case, that would be... Uh, can you even do that on old school? I have no clue if you can, but um, if that's a thing on here, I honestly won't mind it. If you get a dark beast task and you come kill these, that'd be cool. Uh, so we'll see... Um, we'll test that out like, later on. Alright, so let me show you how to get their combat stats. And then that same thing we looked at earlier with uh, with these. Um, it's MBC Combat Definitions. We're going to open this in here. So let's search Goblin. Let's just... How oh, Goblin? Geomancer? That is not what I wanted this. Hopefully this is just a normal Goblin. We'll copy this. And then towards the bottom somewhere, we'll just... That's going to work correctly. We'll just plop this in right here. And then we'll add in a nice little ref. So let's get the ID we wanted. 7931. 7931. And then hopefully all of those animations are correct. Now in terms of stats, uh, we'll obviously have to update these. I don't know exactly what I want to do with stats yet. So let's just, we'll keep this the same and we'll just test it and make sure that it functions. Um, obviously I know it functions, it's just a matter of will the animations work or not. That's my, my main concern. In terms of stats goblins, obviously will be, I, I, one of the things I've always liked about Revenants is that they're actually kind of difficult to kill. They heal themselves and whatnot. I'm not going to go, I, don't, I honestly don't even know how to make, make it, you know, code them to where they would heal themselves. Um, so they're not going to do that, but I do want to give them some pretty decent stats. And so I'll, I'll probably just mess around with numbers off, you know, off the recording because it's going to take a little bit of trial and error, but I'll show you kind of how it works. Right here, this is, um, I have no clue what zero is. And zero might be a defense or attack. I think it's attack because I think one is defense. Um, and as you notice, there is no one, so we have to add one. A lot of these monsters, like, especially like little ones, don't have anything called, like if a, if a monster doesn't use magic. The magic stat isn't going to be coded. Um, I'd be lying to you if I told you, you know, that I knew if both of these work together, if one works, one doesn't. Um, I'm pretty sure that they do. This is this right here is like your base. Like for example, three is health. So this goblin by five health. We'll just make it fifty. We'll just make it sixty-nine. So you know it's working. And then right here, these are the actual stats. So if you wanted to make a monster weak to stab, um, or if you want to make it use stab, like I think this would be. Actually, I have no clue which one is which. 
yeah, stab is the first one. So this would be this this if this number was set to, you know, let's just say ten thousand, that would be uh, obviously that's a really high number, <laughs> but that it would it would destroy you with stab. So if you had really good stab defense, that would work. And then the fifth number, um, the sixth number rather. Uh, yeah, right here. This would be its stab defense. So now, if you used like a rapier on it, you would not hit much on it. So that's how that works. You can also control the animations and the max hit you can possibly hit, the delay, how fast and whatnot. Uh, we're probably gonna keep that all very simple. Uh, depending on the monster, I'm probably just gonna copy over the file of the the normal one and whatever it does, I'll have it keep doing. So these are just um, a lot better versions and whatnot. Uh, so let's test this real quick with these super obnoxious numbers right now. Yeah, we'll just set it to 100 for the lulls. And then we'll make sure that the animations and everything works. And if that is the case, we can continue on with all the other ones. Alright, let's test it out. Take the P-ring off. Cool. Looks like it has some animations. Does it have a block animation? I can't tell if we're just like in sync on our hits or... Let's see if it has a death animation. Should. Nice. So it looks like all the animations are going to be about the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish doing... Uh, I'm going to copy over every monster that will work. Uh, give them some stats. And then we'll move on to... Um, I'll show you how to spawn them in here. Alright, so in that same uh, wiki post about their drops and whatnot, it also includes some stat information such as their hit points, common level, defensive level, max hit and whatnot. Um, I, I'm going to adjust them a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is their hit health. I'm going to multiply it by 50% to sort of make up for the fact that they don't heal. And then in terms of defense and max hits, I'll probably just up it a little bit just because I feel like everything's a lot easier on here. Uh, so making the bosses a little bit harder sort of balances it all out. Uh, so to prevent overcrowding, because that is an issue that uh, we might face since there's technically only one world uh, I'm going to lower the respawn time so that you don't have to really hop around a bunch um, for the goblin and the cyclops the easiest ones I don't want to give them a really short respawn time because these are probably going to be overpowered um, so I'll keep their respawn time at, I, I don't think it's seconds I think it's ticks um, so it might be seconds I'm actually not sure but I'll keep that there and we'll see um, but for the higher tier ones like the dragon and whatnot they'll respawn almost instantly and um, uh, what I'll do is I'll make sure that there's a lot of spawns so that overcrowding shouldn't be an issue. And I do fully in expect people to uh, uh, to PK. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so I did do something uh, real fast and I'll show you that. So this is the prayer book file. Basically controls prayer and whatnot. And... Uh, uh, these little lines of code right here are for the revenants. Basically, it means that a revenant will do half damage through uh, prayer. So we'll save that there. It's pretty simple. Um, I think that they would they'd do that anyways. I don't think you can pray fully against them. I'm actually not sure on that. I, I, I don't think you could on the old revenants. I'm not sure about these ones. But uh, either way, we'll uh, keep going. So we have the combat uh, stats all done. Let me show you uh, what it would look like to spawn. All right, so we'll just take this duplicate uh, for Salo, switch it to Rev uh, Goblin. I believe it is 7931. Right here is your coordinates. So let's um, let's put one south. Put one like right here. Um, where I put them, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make sure that there's enough of all of them and the ones that are kind of overpowered aren't going to be as overpowered, if you get what I mean. 32, 52, and then 10, 1, 4, 6, 10, 1, 4, 6. So there we go. There's that. Um, there's 0, 1. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, last thing is face. Which direction it faces, that doesn't really matter. Only really matters for like NPCs, like shops and whatnot. And then uh, walking, we'll actually set that to true. It doesn't matter if they walk around. That makes it look a little more realistic. So what we'll do is we'll plug in a bunch of these. And uh, we'll uh, continue on to the next thing. All right, so we plugged them all in. And this is what it looks like. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm not going to make them aggressive. Because if you were killing those on old school, you would just use the bracelet to make them non-aggressive. 
And since we're repurposing the bracelet, there's no need for that. Um, Revenant Dragon looks pretty cool. Look the way that looks. We'll have to make that especially good just because it looks cool. Uh, so they're all in here. Got the big ones in the middle. Um, Third Beast over there. Third Beast right there. Or uh, whatnot. I do find it weird that they can walk through these. I don't care enough to do anything to stop that. Um, ignore that. It just it, it tells you whichever one that was the last one that hit you, not the one that you just hit. So if it would have hit me, you would have said that. If you were ever wondering if you've ever seen that before, because that can happen anywhere in the game. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We did the prayer thing already. We're all here. I made them so that they're not aggressive, and I'm gonna make the area multi. Um, so you can team PK here. I'm sure they will for the first day or so. Just one of those things where that's the whole point of Rift Cave. Risk versus reward. Um, Alright, let's do the fun part. The drops. So let's get files open. So here's items. Now I'm going to make sure this is the real items list. It has like Christmas stuff. Um, uh, bracelet. Don't go all the way. Why, why are you going all the way that way? Bracelet of a... Oh, okay, there it is, good. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to do basically do the same thing we did earlier in this video. You know, where we added an NPC, we have to add an item. So, similar file. Basically looks the same, just more customized for our items. So, fun fact, you can high alk a Midnight pet for 240 GP. Even though Midnight is technically not in game at the moment. I believe you can only get Noon. Uh, so we'll do the same thing here. Um, go back to the items folder. Let me make sure you can see this. Just copy the name. And then 21816. Is that it? 21816. Yeah. I'm actually going to capitalize that because that's going to bother me. Um, so make it tradable. True. Stack will fall, snowable falls, high alk, we'll just keep that the same. Don't high alk things because I, I don't often change their prices. Um, so unless you know it high alks, for example, the schematics, we know that the schematics high alk. I wouldn't recommend high alking big items. Your The general price and the um, high alk prices are different. So if you check the general price, that's not necessarily what it's going to alk for. So I'm just letting you know that just for a rule of thumb. Um, we'll just put a nice, like, uh, one mil, or, you know, do five mil value. I don't think anyone would ever want to sell them to the shop anyways. Um, so we'll put five mil there. I think we'll make this thing disassemblable for Uber components, just because, you know, if you get extras and you're an Iron Man or something like that, um, it makes sense. So there's that. We'll worry about other things in a bit. Let's just copy and paste that. And then let's get the, um... I'm not going to go with the ether. Let's get the... Uh, I don't know all these new things that were released. Let's go for the revenant. Looking for the teleport. There it is. So... Boom. Uh, boom. Two. One. What the... Huh. I don't know what I was doing there. I guess it was two one eight zero two, right? Two one eight zero two. All right, cool. But you get you get what we're doing. So I'm gonna do this for uh, all the items we're gonna be adding. The teleport the, or the crystal thingies. Um, I'm making this so it's not five mil, because otherwise that might be a little bit broken. <laughs> I think these are stack. We'll also switch that to tur. Um, so yeah, the capes, the crystals that you would charge with it, and then the emblems. Yeah. All right, so these are all of the items. We have the, the ma imbued max cape versions, the normal cape, the heart, the demon's heart. I don't know what I've been calling it, but I've probably been calling it crystals, but demon heart will be the item. Uh, the teleport, which has the right-click teleport option, which I'm guessing is to prevent people from misclicking. We have the bracelet, which goes in your equipment slot right now. Uh, the emblems, which I believe this one's going to be 5 mil, this is 10, this is going to be 15, and then these will be 25 mil apiece. So you can actually make some decent bank here if you don't die. Um, let's see what one of these capes look like. I'm curious if they look different. So here's the, the new Serodomen cape, here's the old one. Oh, right. 
because it's not actually a cape yet, so that's going to be weird. Okay, old one, and then new one. It does look different, I just don't know if it's like... I don't know that it's better, you know what I mean? Like, I'm debating on whether or not I even want to add these. I'll add them just because... I, I really, really, really hate the way old school did their max cape. Especially from, like, a development standpoint, because every time they add one of these new max capes, I have to add it in a bunch of different places, and I'll show you that process now, so... There's that. Um, item bonus definitions is what controls an item's stats. So we have to add max capes in there. We have to add equipment so that they'll equip correctly and go into the cape slot rather than the weapon slot. We have to add in um, item packets, the teleport options. Um, if you're familiar, the uh, max cape is teleports. And then I have to add in the Ava's effect. It's a pain in the butt. I'm actually not going to show that because I just explained it, and, and that seems like that should suffice. All right, so what I'm going to do now is get all of the uh, the items equipped correctly so that the bracelets and your you know your glove slot, the capes, all equip. I'm going to code the item packet part where you use the the heart on the cape. Um, I'll show that. That'll be real simple. We'll, uh, I guess we'll resume with that. All right, so this is kind of starting to take a while. We're going to start speeding things up. So we have all of the stats done. They should equip correctly. Yes, yes, yes. We have the max kit versions as well. Apparently the normal ones still go in your equipment slot. I'll fix that, though. How do these look? They, they honestly look the same to me. I can't really tell a difference, but I'm just going to assume that there is a difference. Oh, which one? Oh, is it just the Guthix cape? Oh, okay. That's much easier then. Oh, no. Was it Sarah too? Did I literally only do Zami? What happened there? Uh, anyways, the bracelet should have stats. Plus 15 range. 15 in the defenses minus magic. And then your one prayer. Kind of way, like the way it looks. I think it could fit Armadale. I think it can fit the whole thing. I mean, you know, you, I think it complements it well. You can't even really notice it, but you, you kind of can notice it, and then that makes it look better, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, teleport should work. Let's go zero, zero to get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? That, they probably aren't going to work because that's a, a different option. I forgot about that. Uh, that, that They're basically working, though. <laughs> and then these all have prices. Let's check that out. 5, 10, 15, and then 25 for the uh, crystals and whatnot. Actually, oh, oh, no, no, <laughs> we'll just respawn that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll do drops and then um, I will fix the items that were broken for some reason. Only the is it the Zamrock cape? Yeah, the Zamrock cape's the only one I did for whatever reason. Um, we'll make it so that using the imbued heart on the normal versions will uh, demon's heart rather will make it give you the advanced version, and then using the advanced version on the max cape gives you. The max cape version, I really hate the way they did this. So much code, but whatever, we'll do it. Um, finish up the drops, and I think we're, we're done with this. Uh, so let me show you the drop file and how that looks. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just code all the drops and then do a little overview of what I've done. Um, so let's find a place to put this for now. Uh, go all the way to the bottom. Alright, so let's copy and paste. Probably Gargoyle Boss. Pretty sure that was the last thing we've done in terms of boss. Alright. So right here would be the ID of the monster. I believe 7931. Yeah, the goblin. Um, right here you'd have the base drop. Um, I'd probably would just give... I'll probably just give it ashes. That seems that seems like that would work. Um, oh, right. Oh, no, no. Right. No. No. This thing. That's bones. What's, what's ashes? Then? Ashes. Five and nine to two. It's close. Five and nine to two. Nice little ash drop. I don't even know if they actually have a... Do they have a bone drop? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. No one cares about that. That's more or less just continuity, making it look fancy. Here you have common. 
uncommon and rare. If a very rare, um, a very rare is coded in a different file. Um, and that really is only going to be reserved for the three hearts, the looting bag, rune pouch, and the bracelet. So, yeah. The other drops, we're probably just going to base it off of their actual drops. Uh, with a little bit of updates and whatnot, I'll make it a little bit different depending on the monster. I'll add in and remove some items. So, we'll, uh, we'll get started on that and then I'll res resume with the progress. Again, stuff like this, it's just copy and pasting. It's not difficult code and it's not even interesting. It's just copy and pasting, putting in a new ID, putting in minimum amounts, maximum amounts, etc. So, that's why I'm not showing that. Alright, so it has been a, like a day or two. I'm kind of busy in real life. Um, you probably haven't seen me on the server much. Um, don't want to get into it too, too much, but yeah, things in my life are changing. And hopefully it won't affect the server too much. So we got the drops. Uh, let's start off with goblins. Um, all of the very rare should be the exact same for every single one of them. Um, you can see goblins obviously being the easiest. They're going to start off pretty small. There's nothing too crazy on here. You got some decent stuff. Uh, Cyclops is step up. This right here is supposed to be a magic seed. I already fixed it, but I didn't update the server yet, so uh, just pretend like that's a magic seed. Um, you got some items noted, some not. So uh, whether you bring a device or not is your call. Again, this being in the wilderness definitely makes it interesting, because there's never really been any good content in the wilderness. There's d the default stuff. And a couple things like mammoths and whatnot. But mammoths you can easily like AFK with four items and whatnot. So uh, these will be a lot more interesting to, to, to see how it goes. Uh, these are a lot better. Keep in mind when you see amounts like um, 50, it doesn't necessarily mean it drops 50. It can just drop up to 50. Uh, one of the things I wish was better about this drop system was giving you the... Um, actually, does it tell you what it does? Before I, before I flame it? No, it doesn't. Um... It can be anywhere from like 1 to 50. Actually, I think it's a different amount, but you get, you get the pun trying to make. So, just because you see, you know, 35 Adam and Ore doesn't mean you get 35 Adam and Ore. Even though I'm pretty sure Adam and Ore is Adam and Ore. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, move on. So, it's getting a little bit better. Dark Beast here has got a lot of good items. Obviously, the better the monster, the higher the amount. So, that's actually 80. Um, I'm not sure if that's up to 30. You can see Mr. Buckles here now. 5 to 10 crystal keys. Uh, some just random stuff here and there. Uh, let's move on to the last one, dra dragons. So they do have the um, the plate skirt and plate leg drop. It is one to a hundred, so every single time you get that drop, it's gonna be a random amount. Um, I know that the cash value is basically the same because it's alcohol value on old school and it's essentially alcohol value on here. But you can kill these a lot quicker, and this drop is probably way more common than it would be on old school. I imagine it's really rare in old school. And then also keep in mind these cash drops, so you're already kind of getting the coins and whatnot. Um, those should probably be noted because I don't even think you can disassemble those. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't disassemble a rune cross, but I, I never added it because I'm too lazy. So that's 9185. Yeah, I know exactly what I did. I always remember the ID for the rune cross, well, but when I did it, I did the unnoted version. So that's fixed right there. Uh, so that the clue box, you actually have a, a chance of getting up to five clues. So that's cool right there. Uh, up to five magic seeds. Magic seeds, if you didn't know, have a decent cash value. I don't know why I was thinking the exam was going to tell me cash value. And then they also disassemble for a lot of organic components. These dragon bones should also be noted. I'm glad I noticed that. It's five, three, seven. Yes. Although, yeah, because I don't think anybody would really want to take the time to keep burying those. Cause not, not in the wilderness, in, a, in an area that might be highly populated. So... Uh, these all have stats. Uh, there's a couple things we have to do. Really, at this point, we're just kind of finishing. We're, we're putting on the finishing touches of everything. Uh, this isn't going to work right No, I didn't do that yet. Um, they have stats and everything. I have to make them work on each other so that you can make the actual cape. I have to give them a magic damage boost. They actually have a damage boost as well, so we'll give them that. Uh, search. Or is it just magic? Is it magic formula? I think it's magic formula. All the way at the bottom. The equipment slot. Get. Let's just copy this exact line right now. Uh, I don't know if it's five. I don't think it is. But uh, what I'm going to do is basically it's two percent. So 
Would that be 2%? Pretty sure that'd be... Well, is that 20%? That might be 20%. I don't know. We'll just stick with that. I haven't really like done accurate percentages anyway, so it doesn't even matter. We'll, we'll keep it that for now. And if that's too overpowered or too underpowered, we'll adjust it. Um, I'll change the IDs in a sec. And then that'll be that file. Item packets. We have that open here. This is essentially... Let me move this around. This is essentially the, the teleport that I was attempting that doesn't work um, I don't know what te see I thought it was a it was a second click but it's not a second click which makes me think it's either a third click or a fourth click um, either way though I don't know what if yeah what if I just put it in here we'll try putting it in here and just see for this kind of stuff it's like if I mean obviously if we had better <laughs> if we had better um, uh, what's the what's what, like better like phrasings and whatnot just to control where everything I don't know if we better identifier so we knew exactly where everything works that'd be helpful but it's uh, whatever at this point um, getting the teleports working getting these working that's really simple so I'm not even gonna have to show that and then at that point um, I do want to make the dragon hunter crossbow better against the dragon because obviously that makes sense and uh, then we'll sort of just go over and test everything and I think we're good Okay, so everything should be working. Now, this shouldn't work, right? Oh, it takes it, but it doesn't actually teleport you. That's funny. Um, yeah, I can, I can fix that. So, but if we're not in the wilderness, it should teleport us there. No problems. Um, don't worry about the completionist capes. I think I mentioned this in a video before. Where these are just placeholders, but they are the actual god capes. So, uh, yeah. Let's do a blue one on Ceridoman. Boom, we got the Ceridoman one. And then if we use this on the Max Cape, it should give us the Max Cape version. It did, and it just removed the one from up top, so it, it works fine. It just just looks a little weird. Um, is that 13282? So we'll try using the Gutex one on the Gutex Cape. And then that should work. Nice, imbued Magic Cape. And then last one on Zami, and that will give us the Zami. And they all should equip correctly, right? Did I ever did I forget one? It's not taking my crossbow off, so they must all equip correctly good. Um, magic formula, they're all there, so they do have the damage multiplier. Uh, drops are all there. We have to do the shortcut real quick, and then I think we're good to go. I think this update is done. Awesome. Uh, there already has stats. Oh, I do have to do the uh, components for the hearts, but uh, that's that's fine. That's that we can we can do that later. All right, so let's do the agility shortcut real quick. All right, so I'm having a couple issues with the agility shortcut. We'll just skip that for now. Everything else should be good. Dragon Hunter crossbow is coded, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a really newbie setup. People per would prefer um, if I do gear that anybody can use. And this is pretty much the gear I'm using is pretty much all in the shop minus the whip. And whip is only 5 mil, so just go buy a whip. You can see this the gear. So this is very basic. This is something welfare that you would probably use if you were going to try to kill um, revenants. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's put, make sure that's there. I'm going to go to SZ real quick and reset my stats because I think I have higher health. I can't really die, so whenever I die, it does that. Let's, does that fix it? It does. Cool. All right, so just going to do sort of an inventory of killing them. Which ones I'm going to kill? I'm just going to kind of kill like the smaller ones. I'm not going to go for the dragon. Um, I might go for the dark beast, but we'll see. I'm just going to kill a couple, and we'll see what, the, what you could expect. Obviously, I'll probably do... You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll continue to do this, but I'm probably going to do an actual video on these and something something a little more uh, official. I'll probably do it on a legit account as well. So let's just go kill a couple and we'll see what we can expect. Alright, so killing them for about 5-10 minutes. First thing I'm noticing is that they have, they don't have good enough offensive stats. They're not really damaging me much as you can see. The only time I've ever actually had to eat was to uh, make space for loots. So, yeah. We haven't gotten a single rare item. I don't know if we've gotten any uncommons. Honestly, we've gotten a lot of the basic drops, but they they are very easy to kill. As you saw, we just killed that one, and there's a, that's I mean that's that's a freaking medium clue right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up their stats a little bit. You can kind of see all the loots on the or the the bones on the floor because if you look, I mean just look, they're they're kind of getting shredded. 
So I'm going to up their stats. Drops, they're about what I expected. I think we're getting pretty unlucky, but that is, um, I mean, the, we don't have any luck boosting ring and whatnot. And that's kind of good because they do have a lot of good drops. I was a little concerned that these would be overpowered as hell. But as of right now, it doesn't seem that way. And if we make them a little bit harder, then they'll, that'll definitely balance it all out. But I think I'm going to end the video now. I've already delayed this as much as possible. Like I said, I'm having some situations in real life, and I'm, you know, and that I, I don't I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll just we'll just leave with that. Um, so yeah, if you have any feedback on this, any suggestions you want me to make, you know, get those in real quick because uh, this update will be coming out very soon. Um, I'm uploading this today on the 31st of January. I'm expecting the update to be done within the next two days. So um, this should be coming out soon. Thanks for watching, guys.